Tragedy strikes as OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush and four crew members perish in submersible implosion. In a devastating turn of events, OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush and four other crew members lost their lives in a tragic incident involving the submersible vessel's Titan. The submersible, which was on a voyage to explore the wreckage of the Titanic, imploded less than two hours into the journey, resulting in the loss of all five individuals on board. Photos taken in May 2018 by Becky Kagan shot in the Bahamas have now emerged, capturing the final moments of Stockton Rush as he tested the ill-fated submersible. One poignant image shows Rush peering out of the vessel's porthole beneath the ocean's surface, while another shows him seated inside, surrounded by equipment and wearing a shirt promoting his Titanic exploration business. The vessel carrying Rush and the crew members began its journey to the Titanic wreckage site on Sunday. Unfortunately, contact with the control ship guiding them was lost shortly thereafter, leading to a search and rescue mission. After four days of intensive recovery efforts, pieces of the Titan were discovered 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. These fragments were consistent with a catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber, indicating that all five individuals on board would have been killed instantly in the implosion. Experts have suggested that the implosion was likely caused by the failure of the Titan's pressure housing. Stephen B. Williams, a professor of marine robotics at the University of Sydney, explained in a blog post that the location of the wreckage aligns with the presumed implosion site. The U.S. Navy's Director of Salvage Operations and Ocean Engineering, Paul Hankins, confirmed this during a press conference, stating that the debris indicated a catastrophic event. Guillermo Sonline, the co-founder of OceanGate, responded to safety concerns raised about the Titan submersible, emphasizing the rigorous testing program it underwent and its successful history of scientific expeditions, including trips to the Titanic. Amid the recovery efforts, journalist Josh Dean, who has extensively covered deep-sea exploration and is knowledgeable about OceanGate expeditions and Stockton Rush, stated that passengers likely had no time to react to the implosion. He described the incident as a deeply tragic event, happening faster than the brain could process. As news of the incident spread, the Explorers Club, an esteemed organization, expressed their grief and condolences for the loss of the five men. President Richard Garriott de Kerr released a statement mourning the tragic deaths and highlighting the impact these individuals had made in the field of exploration. The memory of Stockton Rush, Hamish Harding, Paul-Henri Narjolet, Shotsada Dawood, and his son Suleiman will live on as a testament to their passion for science and exploration. The Explorers Club extended its sympathies to the families, friends, and colleagues of the victims, vowing to honor their memory through continued scientific pursuits. The maritime community and the world at large are left mourning the loss of these brave adventurers, while investigators work to uncover the full details behind this devastating incident. Thank you for watching our coverage. We appreciate your time and interest in the news we have shared. Stay tuned for more updates and engaging stories.